my name is Amy Cassandra Martinez, and today I'm chatting with Matt Walsh, who stars in the film Unplugging. Let's take a first look. Morning. Oh no, I lost my phone. Here we go. Ringing. Can you help me, please? It's waterproof. Hello? We're missing out on life because we're chained to our bullshit. Well, I have to check my bullshit really quick. We have to go away this weekend. Just say yes. Say it. Yes. Yes. What is a digital detox? We're going to unplug from our phones for the weekend. Connect with nature and each other. A sex vacation. Definitely not that. This was just such an enlightening movie because I realized that it's unfortunately very relatable to a lot of us. So I want to know from you personally, what are your most used apps and how do you personally unplug and unwind? My most used apps, probably podcast apps, mm -hmm. uh, word game apps, and then a little bit of social media and then like news apps. Those would be my top uh, use, use things. And then of course your, your driving apps. We do a lot of driving in LA, so. Yeah, are you more of a Google Maps? Kind of person or ways? I think or, so. I think ways has really bummed me out lately. I gotta say, like ways has like ripped me out of a perfectly fine route in the middle of it and gone bonkers on me. And it's really and it makes me mad for trusting it. And I'm also like the way we lean on these phones. I know how to get there. I shouldn't even just looked it up. I should have not looked it up. Do you know? Gone. It's about trusting our instincts, and I feel like we get to see that in the film as well. Just kind of like getting in tune with nature and just trusting ourselves that we know where to go. So yeah. how do you unplug and unwind? Well, and I live in Los Angeles, so there's wonderful hiking trails just minutes away from our front door you can always go to. Uh, I play a little golf. I always try to get to the ocean whenever I think of it. That's always a win. And uh, I guess we try to put a couple family vacations on the books every year. So those are like significant ways. And I have like, I guess I have, I have chickens in the backyard, so I, I tend to chickens every day. See, I love that. I was gonna say, we got to see some wildlife um, animals in this, uh, in this movie. So what was that like for you? I mean, so you're familiar with chickens. What about the raccoon? Like, wow, have fun. I was terrified of the raccoon. We were trapped in a car with a, ra a wild animal for like an hour. And that really did not make me comfortable at all. So you can see my like uncomfortableness <laughs> register in a very real way. And then uh, the skunk I was not afraid of because I, I kept feeding the skunk and I felt like the skunk saw me as like a, a parent in some way. Like I felt like we kind of had a bond. That really radiated through the screen truly because I was like, okay, I'm not familiar with that kind of animal, but the bond was very much there as well as your Thank bond you. with Eva. It worked so wonderfully. Thank you so much for chatting with me. It's really been an honor. Thank you so much for watching. Unplugging is now available in theaters and on demand. My name is Amy Cassandra Martinez, and I'll see you guys next time. I don't know. 1,400-ish. 1,400-ish. I found that funny. I don't know why. We can do this. We're a team. Hey, get out of my truck. <laughs> Are you two doing bath salts out there?